And then in uh, number 89, why were the sufferings Christ bore for us so, so severe, you know? The sufferings that Christ bore for us were so severe in large measure mm -hmm. because we human beings have rejected the infinite love of God. Mm -hmm. And God was showing us that sin is a terrible thing. And the Son of God, as St. Paul said, became sin for us. That is a way of putting it. That means mm -hmm. he was suffering because of our sin. Mm -hmm. He was rejected because of our sin. If anybody wants to see the seriousness of sin, observe what Christ suffered for us. He even felt abandoned by his father as man. He said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? That is a sign of intense suffering. But he was still in command. I thirst. Into your hands I commend my spirit to his father. It is consummated, his last words. That means, I have accomplished, my father, what you gave me to do. He was in control right up to the end. We are told, he bowed his head and gave up the spirit. Perfect. Now, and even the centurion, the Roman uh, commander of the soldiers there, he saw all this happen and all the miracles and the earthquake. He said, look, this is the son of God. Now that time when he called out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? He was really experiencing rejected love at that time, wasn't he? He was experiencing he was. the absence of a loved one. He was. That means he was ex experiencing rejection. Yes. The, some theologians tell us it is a symbol of the rejection the sinner must feel. Yes. Christ didn't sin but he suffered because of our sins. Mm -hmm. And our sins cause our being rejected. And it is a sign of that. It is also a sign that Christ may have been praying Psalm 21. Mm -hmm. uh, that Psalm 21, a long Psalm, it, is all, it begins with those words, it contains those words. So it would be that he said more, but those words only are recorded. Right. Uh -huh. And those, that Psalm is all, from showing abandonment into the hands of God. Love, which makes him suffer so much, but without being bitter, lovingly.